Hey folks, it's Ryan Bridge, the Bugman, and I am coming to you from South Central Pennsylvania, home of Bugman headquarters, but we're not at the headquarters today. I am out in the field, and I'm in a state park where I expect the cicada invasion to hit pretty hard. Um, hey man, if you don't know who I am or what I do, my name is Ryan Bridge. People call me the Bugman. I'm out and I teach people about bugs and insects and cool creepy stuff. That is what I do every single day. Uh, today we're talking about the Brood X uh, or Brood 10 if you're really hardcore on Roman numerals, whatever floats your boat, man. Um, we're talking about the Brood X cicadas, the periodical cicadas, 17 year cicadas. Um, I come to a place like this because look, there's a lot of misled information floating around about these things. The first thing I need everybody to know is relax. All right, the cicadas are coming, but probably not to a neighborhood near you. If you're wondering when this event is gonna happen, well, that's a good question. I do not take these things for granted, man. Nature will decide where and when these things are gonna pull up out of the ground. Uh, when they do, they're gonna punch in big numbers. I've seen them in lesser than big numbers. I also suspect that if it happens at all, it's gonna happen somewhere between mid-May to the very first week of June. And that's a pretty tight time frame to pull Mother Nature into, but that's how Mother Nature works. These cicadas are timed to avoid predators. They're not timed to hit the cicada killers that your annual cicadas are gonna be timed for. Those things, that's how, that's how nature works, man. That's the way it's supposed to happen. 17-year cicadas are designed to come up in huge numbers, overwhelm predators, and in doing so, they do it on a cycle when there is least amount of predators available. I think that is cool. And yes, if they boil up out of the ground in a park or an undisturbed location, you can expect almost everything to be coated in cicadas. Uh, I saw about four to five inches deep on the ground with cicadas. Uh, I watched cicadas crawling up every vertical standing limb and trunk and tree everywhere in the area. Keep in mind, man, these cicadas have been living under the ground for 17 years, feeding on tree roots, and they're gonna come up out of the ground so they can find mates, reproduce, and die. They're not coming out of the ground to invade your homes. They're not coming out of the ground to invade and kill your gardens. They're gonna hunt people. They're not gonna hurt your pets. They're gonna do nothing. They're completely harmless insects. It's gonna be 17 years before we see an event of this proportion again, but only if it actually happens here. So yeah, if your property has been bulldozed over the last 17 years, do not expect to see 17 year cicadas boiling up out of the ground. All right, that doesn't happen. All right, they need eight to 12 inches of soil to live in for all 17 years. They're gonna feed on tree roots for all those same years. And while doing so, they're eventually gonna mature. They're gonna dig their way out and they're gonna pop out of the ground. And they do it in big numbers when nature tells them to. So it's gonna be an event, man. Let's embrace this. Let's not get all panicky. Don't freak out over this. Don't let the media throw this into some you know, murder cicada turmoil. That is not what's going to happen here. They're just insects. They're just trying to live another day. They're going to keep all the fish, the birds, the animals, probably a few plants, depending on where you live, and definitely a few people who come to my Memorial Day cookout very, very happy because we're all going to be fat and happy on these things. All right. So you get it, man. Cicadas coming at you soon, hopefully big numbers and they're nothing to worry about. So let's just relax and enjoy and embrace nature as it is. So look, man, keep an eye open for upcoming videos regarding live stream during the hatch as well as a live stream during a cookout. We're gonna be cooking and grilling cicadas at some point, and I'm gonna bring everybody along for that ride too. Guys, you can find me on YouTube. You'll find me here on Facebook. Let's just have fun with nature and everybody have fun with 17 year cicadas. Take care guys, have a great day.